Chicano Ideas YouTube channel. Show. Anybody collect cards? Well, see, when it comes to collecting cards, this is my 1990s football card collection. When if you when you like to collect, it's all about co collecting by names for one and cards that are unique. Names and cards that are unique, like this style of newspaper that, that I got. Rookie cards, especially if they're names, and just people who are players, John. These cards are double sided. These are these are my top rookies: Warren Sapp, Tony Bozo, Ty Law, Steve McNair. Those are the top rookie cards, and all the other rookie cards. Niners fan JJ Stokes are just nobodies of top players. None of these rookies are top players. But rookie cards are the cards to have. It's cool as a collector. And maybe someone, maybe let's say this is your team, and this happens to be a rookie card of the team that you like. See, I got different styles of rookie cards it's all about collecting rookies having names mcnair warren warren sap warren sap is like the number one uh tackle lineman of top five when you look him up steve mcnair he's a like top 10 uh quarterback he's a all these rookie cards. It's all about rookies, prospect cards. Steve McNair again, a rookie and prospect card I got of him. <clears throat> these are names. See, it's all about having names also, you know. Names. This is my uh, Skybox series. And these are all tops. I see when it's all about names and tops. So see, these are the top linebackers, people within the top ten. So these are all linebackers, people within the top ten. Because anybody after that, it's not really relevant when it comes to collecting. Like, see, I got two Warren Sap rookie cards. I, that's my fourth one, star rookie. This is my other Tony Basil. He was a number, another top lineman. These are all linemen, top linemen, top cornerbacks, safe free safety, uh, Deion Sanders, Ty Law again, and it's a rookie card, upper deck. So it's all about organizing them within names. These are tight ends. So Shannon Sharp, number one tight end of the 90s. And then you got, you know, Right receivers. Tim, uh, if you know your your football, these are the top ten receivers. If you know your running backs, I got a, a Terrell Davis rookie card. He is like not top five running backs of the nineties. You know Marshall Falk, Jerome Bennis. <clears throat> it's all about names. If these were rookie cards, that would be phenomenal. If, like, you have names, and these are a different... I got the quarterbacks again, but in the upper deck, not in the skybox. That's how you collect cards. This is how you collect cards, and you take them to the card shop, and he may give you, like, 50 bucks for the whole book, maybe 40 bucks, you know? It's all about names, and... The, these are 90s, early 2000s. Football cards nowadays are made differently. They got like these special series holographs, or holographics, what they call like slabs. And, you know, they got these marked cards now that are numbered 1 through 10. 
So, you know, parallels and all this that makes cards more rare and more fun to collect. See, this is like a draft pick. So when you're looking for cards from back in the days, 90s, 80s, early 2000s, before all the parallels and marking a card of 1 through 10 or making a boom card, cards are like, this is a draft pick card. These are cool to have. This would have been cool like if this was a name, if he was a name, num draft pick card, extreme cards, like cards that are rookies and that like stand out cards that are just different black diamond you know as a series of uh, upper deck you know a flare metal you know like these like these cards are yeah, throwback like that's all about having unique cards and especially the more the unique the card the person who, if they're a star, it's always going to be more. This is just growing up as a Niner fan. I put my Niner cards together. Just like, see, this says championship series because this is 1995, the year that they went to the Super Bowl, the Niners. So that's cool to have a championship series card. Something labeled like this, like little extra markings. I don't know what that means. Like, you know, I got a hologram card. You know, just unique cards. I grew up in the NorCal, if you know. So, you know, Raiders, Niners, Oakland Raiders, Los Angeles Raiders. I got one of both. And that's a Jerry Rice while he's with the Raiders. You know, Randy Moss, I had to throw that in there. You know, just cards that I liked. And, you know, extras of one of these extras, a rookie, Deion Sanders. Always liked him as a cornerback, Niners, Cowboys. You know, these cards stand out. They're different because he, these guys, for an example, got drafted during the season. So that's why it says Colts and Eagles, and they're wearing different jerseys. Unique cards that stands out. Like, that's another reversal. And these are my couple of basketball cards. These are my LeBron and Carmelo Anthony prospect cards. And the thing about these prospect cards is this is the year that they got drafted. So it's not his rookie card. See, this is in his college jersey. He's in his high school jersey. So the good thing, yes, I guess rookie cards may be more valuable than a prospect card, but still, it's still a legit year that he was drafted. And LeBron James is a name, so it's still a good card to have. Rookie cards versus prospect cards, uh, good old debate. Which card is more valuable? Now, growing up in Sacramento, I had these Kings cards. See, I got a couple of parallels. These are early 2000 blue parallels is what you would call these right here. Bubbles right here. See, these are bubbles. These are cards that you would look for. Cards like this, Mad Game, Fast and the Furious. These are like cards that stand out. And if like the guy told me if like this was a name, if this was Iverson or Kobe on these Mad Game and Fast and the Furious, it would have been more valuable if I had a blue parallels and a Kobe or somebody. Yes, it's cool. As a Kings fan, I got the Weber and Bibby, but... Overall, collecting cards is about names and the uniqueness of the card, uh, especially from back in the days. You know, it's all about having the top players, having the right amount of cards. Having rookie cards is cool, even though if they're not top players, you know. See, these are like examples of uh, extra cards that I have. These are all my run-ons. These guys are nobodies, as in to say they're not top 10s, not top 20 players. Not, like, not, you know, they're not top players. They're not relevant, all these cards. I went through everybody. I looked at the top 10 uh, quarterbacks, the top 10 receivers, top 10, <clears throat> top 15 quarterbacks, 
top 20 receivers, <clears throat> you know, top 20 running backs, top 10 tight ends. You want to look at the top 20 receivers because there's more receivers than, than, you know, quarterbacks and all that. So, see, these are, like, prospect cards that I got. And it's better if they were, like, you know, from that year. If you got a prospect card, like, I got a prospect card of, uh, uh, of Michael Jordan, but it's a 2003 print. So, you know, I got all these extra cards. Like, this is a Kobe Bryant top prospect card, but it's a 2003 print. Obviously, he wasn't a print. He was already, you know, out of high school, straight to the NBA. So, that's not relevant to that year. It's just a run-on, you know, a copy, a duplicate. So, compared to the LeBron James one that I had where he was actually drafted that year. So, collecting cards is something that I like to do, want to get into more. It's a whole different game nowadays. These cards are fairly nobodies, and all these are the somebodies. That's how you collect cards, by rookies and by names. Show.